Hello, welcome to my tutorial on how to play Out Loud by Scary Pool Party, probably better known as Alejandro Ronda. So to get into it, you're going to need to know the tuning. So the tuning Alejandro uses is some kind of modified open C sharp tuning, but for now just tune to this. So you're going to go C sharp, G sharp, C sharp, F, G sharp, C sharp. You're tuning along with me you probably realize that the strings are slightly pitched up and that's okay because that's how Alejandro plays it so just for you guys to see it a little bit better this is what my strings look like when I'm tuning them so you see this is the open C sharp this is the uh, sixth string the fifth string four string and it's, they're pretty much all pitched up like that so with that out of the way I'm going to talk about the picking pattern that Alejandro uses for the song well there's actually three different picking patterns but there's one main one that I'm going to talk about right now so for the picking pattern, I'm going to refer to the string names by their number. So the, six, uh, the top string here is going to be uh, string number six. Bottom one is going to be string number one. So the picking pattern goes like this. Six, three, hit, six, one, six, hit, two. Okay. Six, three, hit, six, one, six, hit, two. So on that hit, what I'm doing is I'm hitting string number five with my index finger to get that percussive beat. I'm not gonna go too much into the technique of this because I'm pretty sure that there are already a couple videos out there on YouTube that other people have explained pretty well. And you guys can go and find that. There's also a slight variation in this picking pattern that Alejandro does. So the regular one is six three hit six one six hit two. Sometimes instead of doing that six three, he does like a little strum. So. Strum takes the place of six and three, then it's the hit six one six hit two. All right. Okay. So now we're gonna move into the intro portion of the song and forgot to mention in the last uh, part of the video, you're going to have to have a capo on the 6th fret for the song. Okay. So this is what the strings are going to sound like on your capo to the 6th fret. Alright. Now from this point on, the way I'm going to explain the rest of the song is I'm going to play the song in a normal speed first, play it slightly slowed down, then I'm going to break it down for you guys. So for the intro, it's gonna sound like this. Okay, slow down.
Now, I'm not counting the number of strums that I'm doing, I'm just kind of feeling for it, but basically the intro is just a series of strums, and you're going to need to know four different chords for it. The first chord being pretty easy. You just need to have your index finger on the second fret of the fourth string. Okay? So... Second chord is pretty easy. Just add your pinky finger to the fourth fret of the second string. Next chord is also pretty simple. You're gonna slide slide up your index finger from the second fret to the fourth fret of the fourth string. Then at this point. Alejandro does sort of like a, I don't know what to call it, I'm just going to call it like a stop. So, that's when he does this. And that's when he starts singing. So for that chord, you keep your index finger on the 4th fret of the 4th string, you add your middle finger to the 5th fret of the 6th string, and you add your pinky and ring finger to 5th fret of string number 2 and 3, right? So this is what this chord's gonna sound like when you strum it. All right, and when he does that stop, he's just kind of doing like a hard strum and then sliding down. So all together, what we have should sound like this. I'm not really counting the number of strums. I'm probably not being very consistent, but I'm just getting a feel for it. Add your pinky. Slide up. And stop. All right. Okay, we've made it past the intro. We are now moving on to the verse. So from the end of the intro, with that stop, when he starts singing, we're moving on to the verse, which would sound like this. So, I'm going to play that a little bit slower for you guys. So, from the intro, end of the intro. for the breakdown. So, after you do that stop, you kind of wait for two measures, then you go back to this original chord. So after you slide down, you're basically just gonna put it back into its original position with the middle finger on string number six, on the fifth fret, index finger on fourth fret, fourth string, Pinky and rings, fifth fret, string number two and three. Okay? And at this point, all you're doing is you're applying that finger picking pattern that I taught you at the very beginning to this chord. So six, six, three, hit, six, one, six, hit, two, six, three, hit, six, one, six, hit, two. Or just strum, hit, six, one, six, hit, two. After you do the end of the intro, wait two measures, 
then play this uh, uh, play this finger picking sequence for two measures. And at this point, you're changing chords. So it's that same it's that second chord that we learned in the intro for the strumming with your index finger on the 2nd fret of the 4th string and your pinky finger on the 4th fret of the 2nd string. And you play this for 4 measures. Next chord. You're going back to this chord again, except this time you're going to lift off your pinky finger. So now you just have your middle finger on the 5th fret of string number six, index finger on fourth fret string number four, and ring finger on fifth fret string number three. So now it's gonna sound like this with the finger picking pattern. Okay. And you do that for four measures and then you go back to this chord again for four more measures. Nothing changes except at the very end. At this point, Alejandro does a stop with just his index finger on this string, the fourth string, second fret. And he kind of mutes it. So up till now, what we have is going to sound like this. So from the end of the intro, that stop, two measures, four measures, four measures, four measures, stop. Okay, so we've made it through the verse. We are now arriving at the the pre-chorus of the song. So I'm just gonna play it for you really quick. So from the end of the verse with that stop. slow right there but I'll go even slower so from the end of the verse to know a different finger picking pattern for the bridge or not the bridge the pre-chorus here so you're only gonna need these three fingers here your index finger is still relegated to the task of hitting string number five and the pre-chorus portion of the song so the way I'm playing this is Let's see, I'm just going to show you guys really quick. So the pattern goes like this. So what I'm doing there is I'm doing a little mini strum, just hitting like these top three or four strings here. Hit, then I'm plucking string number four with my middle finger. So what we have is, then I do a pluck on the sixth string with my middle finger, then another hit, right? I'm just gonna hit the sixth string right there. 
so. that little mini strum I am hammering on to the second fret of the fourth string and do that hit now when I do that pluck with the middle finger on the fourth string I am sliding up to the fourth fret of the fourth string and doing that pluck right with my thumb right after that slide up and then I'm gonna when I do that hit I'm gonna pull off the fourth fret of the fifth string with my index finger actually I probably don't even use my index finger when I'm actually playing it I usually use my middle finger and I'm not really like thinking about it but let me see I usually use my index, my middle finger. I guess you use whatever is more comfortable to you. But anyways, you're doing that for four measures. So from the end of that stop. on the fourth fret of the sixth string here. It's gonna pretty much stay there for the next four measures. What you're gonna do when you do that mini strum, you're still hammering on to the second fret of the fourth string. Now when you pluck with that, that uh, your middle finger, you're pulling off. Do that pluck with your thumb then. Then when you do that next hit, that last hit in that little sequence, you're pulling off the second fret of the fifth string to open. So all together it should sound like this. All right. So all together, what we have is this. chord playing it for four measures. Then the next, that's when he starts doing these little strums, like building up to the chorus. I'm just kind of feeling for it again. So, and so in the middle of these strums, he adds his pinky finger to the fourth fret of the fifth string. his index finger on on the, the string second fret fourth string right so let's go into it one more time because this bit is a little bit difficult
to mention that during the bridge part, or not the bridge, I keep calling the bridge, uh, the pre-chorus, you are palm muting. Alright, okay. That is all I have to say about the pre-chorus. Okay, so we've made it past the pre-chorus, and now we're beginning to enter the chorus, probably the funner part of the song for most people. I'm probably going to break it up into uh, part one and part two of the chorus, because it has quite a bit to unpack. Um, so yeah, from the end of that drumming sequence that we learned in the pre-chorus. This is what the chorus part one should sound like. breakdown. So we are going back to that finger picking sequence that we learned for the verse that I taught you at the very beginning of the video after teaching you the tuning. So from the end of that strumming sequence, right, that's when we start beginning that finger picking sequence with your finger rooted on the second fret of the fourth string. You're going to do this finger picking sequence for two measures. Right? Pretty simple. Add, then you add your middle finger to the third fret of the third string. Add your pinky and ring finger to the fourth fret of string number five and six. That's your new chord. And you're going to play that with the same finger picking sequence for two measures. pretty easy lift off with these two fingers here and then all you have to do is just slide up your pinky and ring finger up one fret to the fifth fret that's your new chord play this for four measures I think that was four but then you just loop that around one more time All right, we've made it past chorus part one. We're now on chorus part two. So I'm just gonna play it for you really quick. So from the end of chorus part one.
breakdown. Okay, first off, you're gonna have to know a new finger picking sequence for this. Um, basically, it goes like this. So, strum, hit, strum, hit, strum, hit, strum, hit, strum, hit, strum, hit. Okay? Next thing you need to know is that during this part, when I do the hit, I'm not always hitting the fifth string for this, for this time around. Sometimes I hit the fourth string just so the note that I'm hitting like rings out a little bit more. I'm pretty sure Alejandro is always hitting the fifth string during this part, but that's probably because he's a better guitarist than I am. But <clears throat> he's driving those notes entirely with hammer-ons and pull-offs. So let me show you what I do. So. What I mean when I hit the fourth string is this. So at that point, I'm hitting the fourth string with my index just so that note rings out. Right? Alejandro is hitting the fifth string, I'm pretty sure. It's just a little bit easier for me to hit the fourth string just so I can get that note ringing without me having to work so hard to get that pull off now, right? So, basically, yeah, that's all you need to know so far for this. But now we can start moving into the left hand portion of the chorus part two. So from the end of this, you're gonna start doing the strum. And when you do that first strum, you're hammering on to the third fret of the third string. Hit, strum, then after that second strum, you're gonna hammer on to the fifth fret of the third string with your ring finger, pull off to open, or not open, to third fret, and then pull off to open. So what we have right now is And there's one more hit in that finger picking sequence in that pattern so when you do that next hit you're gonna have your index finger already positioned onto the second fret of the fourth string when you do that hit sorry you're going to pull off to open so what we have is strum So we went through one whole rotation of that finger picking pattern. The next pattern, or the next rotation, is very similar. When you do that strum, you're gonna hammer back on to the second fret of the fourth string. Hit, strum, then hammer on to the fourth fret of string number four with your ring finger. Pull off to second, and then pull up to open. That for that last hit, instead of having your index finger already positioned in that into on the second fret of the fourth string, you're just gonna when you do that hit, you're gonna hammer on to the second fret of the fourth string instead. So what we have so far for this neck for the second rotation of this finger picking sequence is after that. You're going to do a strum, a full strum, but when you're doing that strum, you're going to hammer on to string number five and six, fourth fret, with your pinky and ring finger. So, right. so, so far, for the whole thing, those two rotations, what we have is this. this point this is when you go back to that finger picking sequence that we learned for the verse so six three oh, 
sorry, six, six, three, hit six, one, six, hit two. Do that for two measures. Slide up as we did in chorus part one to the fifth fret. Put this for four measures, like we did in chorus part one. And then you loop that back around. second time around, you're only playing this part for two measures, so let's see, so we had it at two measures, then this is when you add your middle finger to the fourth fret of the fourth string while keeping your pinky and ring finger rooted, so what this, from the top string to the bottom string, it's going to be Five, five, four, open, 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 right? And then you just, you're just strumming. So all together, what we have should be this. So I'm just going to play through the whole chorus now, just so you guys can see how that links up, I guess. So, let's see. up a little bit there but you get the idea. Okay we have finished chorus part two and now all that's left is verse two, pre-chorus two, and chorus two and really uh, they're pretty much the same as the first time around except for Except for the beginning of verse two. So I'm just gonna show you guys really quick how it differs. So from the end of chorus two, we're entering pre or verse two. I'm just kind of, I'm not playing it how Alejandro plays it. He's doing all these sort of embellishments. Uh, I'm just kind of doing my own little solo over this. So, um, so just, I, I just kind of do my own thing for my own little personal touch here. So basically, you're going to do this for four measures. one measure then this is when you can start doing your own little thing in this area so just some ideas I'm um, really just play around with it uh, and to fill the next three measures up before you go back into it Yeah, 
Uh, once you really get to this part, uh, once you do those two little solos, I guess, he goes into the real part of verse two where he starts singing again. And then the song just kind of picks up that, picks up back to when, uh, the first time around, so. He's just singing, he's doing the pre-chorus and the chorus, and then there's also the outro, but I'm not gonna teach you guys the outro. <clears throat> so, yeah, uh, we're pretty much done with the song then. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys. Um, happy learning. <laughs>